Um, it's still <laughs> January 28th. I don't know why I keep laughing. I keep laughing because I'm just like, it's still, it's still, <laughs> um, just again, interactions that pop up or, um, situations that pop up that just kind of like, you know, it's like a domino effect. It's like, I start getting like this thought that needs to another thought that needs to another thought. And then it, on a good day, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> another random day it's like wait what um but it's been a good day I've I've again I'm just going with the flow I'm still working on this Spain application I I'm I'm com I'm still amazed you know sometimes I'm amazed at, at the life that I've lived and and I, I was today's focus was on uh, my work experience um, and, and how there was always something that said just just you know don't do random jobs right like like stick to the jobs that are going to focus to you know the line of work that you want to do and at that time I was going to be a teacher and so I was going through I, I kept all of my old uh, resumes and my old letter of recommendations I don't know why I kept them like I mean I can be a pack back sometimes <laughs> but I I don't know why I was I think there was a part of me that always wanted to like reminisce and like oh remember so-and-so um I mean I still have like high school letters and stuff from friends and you know when you used to like fold them up and like you know pull here and um but anyways that's <laughs> uh, uh oh resumes I I was like inputting that into the Spain application and, and just really remembering, like going down memory lane and, and remembering these positions that I held and the challenges within those positions and, and just crying about some of them and, and thinking I couldn't do it, right? And, and then still pushing myself through it. And, and, you know, some of those were like first time experiences where it was something that I didn't want to do and I did it anyways and I end up being stronger about it afterwards. So, you know, there's definitely strength in, in pushing yourself through difficult challenges when you're, you know, consciously doing it, right? Versus someone pushing you through. Um, it was myself. I was pushing myself through it. Um, but just seeing the overlap and the time frames and, and you know, I, I'm, I mean, I've been working since I was 18. My first job was at Target and great job. I mean, I had it for a year, cashier and, and, um, and then everything after that was related to teaching or mental health and, and in some degree capacity working with some type of population. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, <laughs> so it's the Leo moon, full moon tonight. You guys, again, will probably see this later on. Um, but I was, I was really drawn to revisit my goals, right? I mean, like I do with every new moon and full moon, I'm, I'm looking at my intentions and, you know, my, um, my dreams and my wishes. And, and I actually... I have a special box where I keep them. I have to share this because it's a beautiful box. It's actually from India. It was a gift um, from somebody um, when I used to participate in another organization. And um, I've kept it. There was just something beautiful about it. Um, and then, I have it in the other room, but when I started buying the tarot cards, it, it matched the magician just the opposite way. So I thought that was really neat. Um, but it's a box and I keep my, my, um, intentions in here. I have many dreams and goals, but I, I was gifted these little red Asian, um, envelopes where I found out later that this is where, um, you know, during weddings and stuff, they, money is put in here for gifts for the bride and groom. And I always kept them and I never did anything with them. And then when I moved, I was like, you know, I'm going to use them to start putting my, my goals and my dreams and so they each have uh just you know goals plenty <laughs> um some of them I don't even remember where the idea came from 
because I, I revisit them just to see is this still something that I'm wanting or you know and and yeah and and then being mindful of the time frame like a lot of these I initially I the first ones I, I did were in September and so I'm, I'm counting right six month the whole six month thing with the what is it the moon energies or you know planting the seeds so it's September, January, March right so in March I'll see which is in what a month or two if any of the original ones um, bring fruit speaking of fruit I actually made these and I think that there was another old video where I referenced them back in November um, I was looking at my vision boards. I have vision boards. I'm always, you know, goal setting, right? So I created vision boards for myself and it's just, you know, what is that called? Um, like a collage almost. Um, and we would do them with the kids a lot. I remember. So I was looking at it today, um, and looking at it and looking at it. And then I realized I'm like, wow, there's so much of that. That's already to a certain degree right it, it's um yeah it was um it came to fruition <laughs> sorry i got lost i got lost in the pictures <laughs> but i'm gonna show you guys um what it is um just you know um i love cutting and, and putting stuff together and then um you know, health and religion and, you know, just, I don't know where I'm at in terms of you guys being able to see it. But, um, but yeah, so it's like, it's, you know, I realized that a lot of this I've, I'm already tapping into, right? I have my own place. It's definitely been an adventure these last six months. Um, I've definitely increased the number of books that I'm reading and the books that I've purchased. My belief is stronger than ever, for sure. I'm definitely still grateful and, and feel completely blessed with what I have. You know, it's it's enough. You know, it's what I need. I'm working on my health and, and I'm working out. Um, and yes, that picture is of me. A selfie from my back because I was so proud of myself when I was lifting weights. Um a few years back and in the gardening I, I started gardening well I mean I have plants that's a plus <laughs> definitely in the right direction trying I mean my task is you know to keep them alive um so you know I'm constantly I'm trying to be still you know in the present um yeah you know it's just wonderful and then I so that was one and then I did a, another one around the same time and I was looking at it and I'm like wow like you know in terms of just you know God is still continues to be a central part of my life and and this is one that I specifically made for God and, and my relationship with him and you know what I was seeking for myself um in connection with God and, and just, you know, realizing, right, that my connection with him and, and, and I, the writing I, I wrote in afterwards, you know, the more I was thinking of myself in a different way, right, instead of being too hard on myself, just really giving myself permission to be kind to myself. Um, I think I've mentioned that before, um, and how sometimes we can be our own worst critic and, and how we can really hurt ourselves, you know, without even knowing it and the importance of that self-love and just even when we make mistakes, you know, it's giving ourselves permission to make mistakes and giving ourselves permission to love ourselves, you know, with each mistake knowing that, you know, we'll pull a special nugget from that and hopefully the next time we make a mistake, it won't be so bad, you know? So, yeah, I think today has been definitely a day of reflection and 
you know, even the person that I connected with, we were reflecting and, well, she was refl doing more of the reflection of, um, you know, her past, you know, that's come up because of my current situation, you know, applying to Spain and she lived in Spain for a year and, and she was reflecting on the memories and, and sharing those wonderful memories with me. And I was, I felt like I was there, you know, um, I was imagining her there and, and, the adventures that she was on and, and I continue to look forward to connecting with her more about that between now and you know when I get accepted <laughs> um, in a couple months I'll know um, but yeah and then I was excited because I got um, I've been getting more um, uh, samples in uh, that I ordered of you know just my design and so this one is a sweatshirt um, and I'm going to post it on my Facebook. You guys probably already saw it on my Facebook if you follow me there. Not Facebook, uh, Instagram. This one has this logo, uh, the Soulmate logo. Um, um, and, and the size that I have is a medium. And so it, it's, if it's really good, I mean, I, I, it looks bigger. And then when I put it on, I was like, oh, you know, it's a snug, snug feel to it. So, um, and the royal blue, I really like, um. So, yeah, that's the link is there in the about section. But, you know, and hopefully between by the time this comes out, my other ideas are probably posted. Hopefully will be posted. Um, the other designs that my head is like just, you know, going. Um, but, yeah, so I, I going back to the vision board, I, I wanted to make one for Spain. And um, so I'll be doing that tonight, you know, and it's getting close to nine and I still need to do my whole staging and do that, you know, as the night. And then maybe I'll step outside to see if I can catch a glimpse of the full moon. I love it. I love to see the full moon. Again, something about it. But um, yeah, just wanted to keep things. Being more present today, I felt like I was a lot more present today and was able to listen to some old songs, some old 90s songs and, you know, big fan of Michael Jackson and, um, yeah, just old school songs that I was like, wow, you know, back when I was 15 and just, you know, dancing. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, but I know at some point I'm going to have to like really sit down and think about, okay, Financially, you know, um, we'll see what happens, you know, I'm definitely enjoying the self care. Uh, that was one thing that came up today was just, um, you know, what am I going to do now? <laughs> and, and I've had a couple opportunities yesterday, actually, that crossed my path in terms of just side jobs to make some extra income and really having to think like how much of, how much work you know do I really want to do um between now and, and April and October or September um because again I, I I really feel like I'm going to be pulled that way I really feel like I'm going to get a position and, and so I don't want something heavy I, I really don't I not anymore. I feel like I've been there, done that, you know, learned my lesson. Um, and, and just being more resourceful and, and, you know, being appreciative of what I already have. Like I have a lot, you know, I mean, my little apartment is enough <laughs> and, and I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for my sanctuary and just the peace that I choosing to have for myself, right? With, with, how I'm setting boundaries for myself and um, what I'm doing with this time of self-care. And um, I, I think this is the longest that I've ever gone with a long vacation. I mean, I, I, and the crazy thing is that I always had the opportunity, you know, I, the, where I worked, I was very fortunate enough to have been promoted years ago to a position where I only worked 185 days a year but it never felt like I only worked 180. It felt like I worked all the time because I never took that time off 
in a big chunk like a lot of other of my peers did they would take the whole summer off I never did uh, it always felt like I needed a routine to keep me functioning because the moment I was off of a routine it would throw me off really bad and and um, I picked that up really quickly and, and had to separate the days off that I had throughout the year. So I was, instead of taking like the whole summer off, I would only be working four days. But again, it just, it never felt like that. Um, it always felt like I was working all the time. And, and so, you know, again, it's just choices, you know, realizing that I put myself in that situation, right? Taking accountability for my actions, you know, what I allowed to occur. Um, thinking it was best for me and then now in retrospect I'm like what was I thinking <laughs> you know why why would I do that to myself right and realizing that it's not too late you know even though I'm gonna be 40 in five months um, it's never too late to practice self-care it's never too late to put yourself first um, so that's where I'm at today that's where I'm at. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this opportunity to reflect even on my past mistakes and, and after healing them, clearly, right? After those ugly cries, <laughs> allowing myself to feel, giving myself permission to feel, giving myself permission to sit with the discomfort and just sit with it and make friends with it and process it and and, and I, I would be lying if I said that my heart wasn't hardened. There were moments where it was, and now it's softening up again. And, and I think that's the ultimate goal of that healing process, right? It's, it starts off as a rock, as, as a hard place. And then once you give yourself permission to feel, give yourself permission to fall apart, to, to hurt, um, then it slowly starts to heal and soften and in just the right amount of way, you know, it's, it's like, it's a crazy, like what I'm visualizing, right? It's, it's like a rock and then it, it mushes the, to, the, to the complete opposite, right? Where it's like, <laughs> like the heart's all, blah. <laughs> but then in that process of continuing to heal, like it, it rebuilds itself in a different way. Like I'm visualizing, I'm literally visualizing it. Still strong, not too strong, but just strong enough, right? Just strong enough. Where the, the love and, and the feeling and the emotion can still be there, be present with the, I don't wanna call it, the, difficulties but just the it's like just balanced it's just balanced <sighs> that's it just want to share that all right you guys have a good one